Hercules is dead. Fucking savages. His data should be somewhere around here. Hard drive is missing. Bowman, Feliz is dead and his hard drive's gone. The murder made quite a goddamn mess, didn't he? How the hell do you know that? Because the moron just tweeted a selfie of himself at the scene. He geotagged the photo in the tweet, sending you the location. Get there fast and see if you can recover Feliz's hard drive before it's destroyed. On our way. LT's trying to run. Cooperate total south of the Got you, you sick fuck. What are you talking about? I didn't do nothing. You took a selfie with your victim, you idiot. You saw that? Fucking badass, right? You think that was badass? What do you see what I do to you? Hint, it involves a wire hanger and a whole lot of electricity. Chingado, man. What do you want? Ramon Felice's hard drive. Now. That shit? Man, I already dropped it off for those hacker nerds. Not far from here. Let's grab that hard drive fast before Santa Blanca wipes it. Deploying drone. Eyes on a small group of tangos. I got eyes on an air defense system. That's five tangos. I'm looking at a small group of tangos. Shit. Fuck, man. Power's been cut. Hostile down. Here's the hard drive. Secure it. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Bowman, we've secured Felice's hard drive. Good work. It's intact? Affirmative. We plugged the key into it and are uploading the data to you now. Excellent. According to Felice's blog, Santa Blanca is snatching Bolivian children and sending them to Brazil, Argentina, and Mexico as slave labor. Now we can make his proof public. Nobody sympathizes with child traffickers, not even drug traffickers. Get down! Sniper! Since his rise to power, El Sueño has been responsible for more than 7,000 murders, 12,000 kidnappings, and 17,000 disappearances. So then how the fuck is he one of the most loved people on the goddamn internet? I mean, this piece of shit has more likes than the World Cancer Society. How does that even happen? Well, one reason would be Ramon Feliz. Santa Blanca narco blogger. Feliz wasn't always like this. He used to be a real journalist. Working the crime beat for a Mexican newspaper, he wrote about the cartels. Until the cartels started targeting journalists. Forced to choose between reporting the news and their employees, the newspapers made a hard decision. They stopped reporting on the cartels. 
So Raymond Feliz went underground. With anonymity on his side, he started a blog, and he went after Santa Blanca. Hard, maybe too hard. Sueño hired hackers from a number of top universities and had them track down Feliz. Things only went downhill from there. Nowadays, Ramon Feliz no longer writes about Santa Blanca. Ramon Feliz writes for Santa Blanca. <laughs>